15,000 people believed to have died in Miyagi province alone, which suggests the number of dead here is going to rise hugely uh, over the next uh, few days. We could be talking at least of 20,000 people being killed. Better news from Fukushima as well, uh, the nuclear power plant, uh, basically a power cable has been established there for reactors one and two. Reactor number three, the one they were most concerned about, seems to be in a slightly more stable condition, having had uh, hundreds of tonnes of water pumped in over the past 24 hours. We can speak to Francis Marcus from the uh, International Red Cross. He joins us via Skype. H how much aid is getting through? And I'm thinking in particular of this big elderly population in Japan, of course, uh, w some of whom will be on chemotherapy and other quite serious, complicated drug regimes. Are they getting the, 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 the prescriptions? Are they getting the drugs that they require? Well, um, Japanese Red Cross is making maximum effort to, to care for, for these people and uh, uh, to, to address the, uh, the medical problems uh, which, uh, which are cropping up, such as cases of influenza and other, other illnesses. Uh, it, the logistics of the situation uh, are still difficult, getting medicine through because of the uh, shortage of fuel, but uh, uh, the situation does seem to be improving uh, somewhat, and we have got some, uh, for instance, some uh, influenza medicines through. So we're very much hoping that the, uh, the bottlenecks will ease over the coming few days. Uh, and what are the risks, what are the, the threats to public health, the fact that so many bodies probably haven't been recovered yet? Well, um, I think that um, we, we probably need to focus more on the, uh, on the, the, the da dangers to public health from so many uh, people living in confined spaces in the evacuation centers uh, as, the, as the real um, health risk. And we need to address, uh, address uh, those uh, illnesses coming up in the evacu evacuation centers. Obviously, something, uh, obviously the, the number of dead bodies uh, is, is an issue. But um, in cases where uh, people have died, not of diseases, but in natural disasters, there is less danger from dead bodies than there is from diseases among the living survivors. So we need to obviously take action on both fronts, but we need to get this in a correct perspective.